Alright, well, I decided I'm going to break this video up in a couple parts. This is going to be part two. Um, so anyway, Komodo finally got installed, and um, it looks pretty good. I like the new interface here. It says, I am at home, I am at work, I'm at a public place, I'll say I'm at home. Um, and it says, right away, I'm at risk. It says, the virus signature database is not up to date. I like how that's just, you know, real big font right out there to tell you, hey, you know, you better update this thing. And a big old red fix it button. So anyway, it's downloading um, some new signatures. I do love their graphics. I mean, Komodo has some of the best looking graphics. You know, little buttons and things. Uh, you know, they've got some good designers there. Anyway, uh, it says 11%. On a side note, I just tested out their little bootable um, uh, rescue disk, and it is sweet. I uh, used it at work one day just for the hell of it. I had somebody who, one of the guys I work with full time, he brought in his uh, home PC and it was infected. And um, I just wanted to try out the Komodo uh, bootable rescue disk. And yeah, it was, uh, you know, it, what it is, is just, it's really clean looking and it was really effective. So, but uh, I'll, make an, I'll make a video on that just so you can see it in action. So anyway, uh, I guess it's a pretty big old update. It's going to take a while. My connection's pretty sweet. I have like a 50 megabyte connection. Um, now this PC's infected, so maybe that's slowing it down or something. Or my wife's upstairs downloading a shit ton of stuff that she shouldn't be. Something like that. Anyway, um, I'll pause it really quick. Okay, I'm back. It did an update, and um, uh, whoops, hang on a second. <laughs> Sorry about that. Clicked uh, the wrong button there. So yeah, it did an update, and then uh, I was out of the room, so it must have uh, scanned and um, found some stuff. So it says, "Attention, three infections found." We recommend you work with a Geek Buddy certified Microsoft expert to make sure you're complete. Basically, they want you to, you know, this is like another annoying part here, because if I install this on a like one of my customers' PCs, they would be uh, calling their Geek Buddy, maybe thinking it was me or whatever. But basically, you're going to call and someone's going to get on your computer remotely, uh, and you're going to have to pay for that service. So we're going to say no, um, and do not ask me that again. I will try to clean it myself. So we have uh, three infections here. Um, action, clean, clean, clean. We'll go ahead and apply it, even though I only see two. It says cleaned on all of those. Um, wants me to go ahead and reboot my computer. So in order to finish this cleaning process, I have to uh, reboot the computer. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, just restarted and right away I get this message saying there's a problem loading this um, this DLL and it was basically a piece of malware that Komodo deleted. And I like it. I just logged in, so we're waiting for Komodo to start up here. Now, I have no idea if they have like an early load mechanism. You know, they should load before everything else does. Or everything else that a user can load. I'm not sure about that one. But they should. comes up and says hey I'm secured 
let's see uh, if we have any more of those um, I explore processes going sure do lots of them four so it's kind of deceiving because Komodo says I'm secured but you know I'm secure but I'm not secure I have all these I explore processes running still so let's go ahead and fire up Komodo again now to be fair I just did a little uh, quick scan uh, so we're gonna go ahead and launch it and uh, do a full scan and how nice they added all my uh, geek buddy and anti-air icons again Oof, oofa these guys are getting out of control man <laughs> I don't want those on my desktop okay thank you um Anyway, yeah, I'm just using default uh, settings. I'm going to go ahead and just do an update really quick. You know, I did one 13 minutes ago, but I'm going to see if there's anything new out there. Um, apparently there were. So that's good. Uh, installing those signatures. Uh, in case you missed the last video, um, a couple of announcements. I'm going to be doing another video for techynotes.net um, at some time this week, and I'll show you how to figure out which process is uh, hitting your hard drive the hardest um, and how you can find that. So. And then I'm um, also going to be starting some gaming videos. Mostly, I play mostly like strategy-based videos, or sorry, strategy-based games. Um, I'm going to do a few videos for my friends, um, and then you can watch them if you want as well. So, so that'll be up probably uh, this weekend because I've got a four-day week this week. So yeah, for a little update, that was um it's taken a while. I really have to figure out how to uh pause these things without having to minimize. I think if I just click that, let's see, pause is and it's one of these F functions. Okay, and that just finished like a few seconds later. So we'll go ahead and close that. And um, basically what I wanted to show you was I was just going to do a scan. And to be fair, I'm going to do a full scan. So I have no idea how long a full scan takes, uh, especially with the malware running. Um, so this might not get uploaded until tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the other one right now, though. So... Um, you guys should see the part one in a few minutes. I think I'm going to go ahead and break up a lot of these videos into parts because I just can't fit everything into a single day. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. So, anyway, I expect part one now. <laughs> 